So in this video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make this road texture. There's a couple of images that I used and I got them all from textures.com. I'll be linking them in the description. I also used this add-on called Node, Node Wrangler. So make sure you have that turned on. Okay, on with the video. Take a plane, scale it to three, get a camera, reset the rotation, bring it up a bit, change it from perspective to orthographic, then change the resolution to 2000 by 2000. See, now it perfectly fits the square. Hit H to hide the camera. Now we're gonna model out the paint to get a good height map. Once you model it out, you can add a gradient going from black to white from the lowest part of the model to the highest to get depth information, which can help you get a good normal map. Take a cube, scale it real small. Scale it on the Y axis a bit, then position it above the plane. Go into edit mode and scale the top of the cube a bit. Duplicate it with shift D and give it a mirror modifier. Change it to Y, and then bring it over a little bit. Use a loop cut to find the middle, and position the object where the loop cuts on the edge. Duplicate the cube in the middle, give it a mirror modifier, bring it out to the edge, and then scale it on the Y axis until it leaves the frame. Accept the two mirror modifiers, and then join the two blocks in the middle by hitting Ctrl J. Now time for the shading. I made the bottom plane an asphalt texture with a little bit of contrast. Keep the scale at a rounded number to make sure that the texture tiles seamlessly. I made the middle paint a yellow concrete texture with a little bit of contrast, and the outside paint the same texture, but turn the saturation down. Grab the two paints, go into camera view, go into edit mode, and press U to open up the UV menu and project from view. Get a Voronoi texture, and get a texture coordinate node and set the UV into the vector. Change the Voronoi texture to distance to edge, scale it up a little bit, then put a color ramp in front of it, bring up the white, Make a transparent shader, and mix it with the BSDF. Set the Voronoi texture as the factor, then flip the shaders around. Go to the Materials property tab, and set the Blend Mode to Alpha Hash. Now the paint has cracks that allows you to see under it into the concrete. Now copy all the nodes and put it onto the other paint object. Combine the transparent and principal BSDF, use the Voronoi as the factor, and switch the shaders. Go to Materials properties again, and change it to Alpha Hashed. Get an area light, raise it up, scale it real big so you don't see any light fall off on the plane, and then change the power to 10,000 watts. Now hit F12 to render. Save it somewhere where you're going to remember it. Now let's move on to the height map. Hit Shift S, cursor to select it on the plane. That's going to move the 3D cursor onto the very bottom. Then go up to Object, click on Set Origin, then Origin to 3D Cursor. The reason why we're moving the origin to the very bottom is because where the origin is, is where the gradient starts. Then do that to the other paint piece. On the outermost paint object, get a texture coordinate node, bring it to object, get a separate XYZ node and set it to Z, get a math node, combine the Voronoi and the separate XYZ together, and change it to multiply. And do that to the other paint piece. Give the bottom plane a texture coordinate node and a separate XYZ node set on Z, then press F12 to render. Now save it somewhere where you're going to remember it. Now we're going to make a mask separating the asphalt from the paint. Get an RGB node and make the paint white and the asphalt black. Press F12 to render and save that somewhere where you're going to find it. Now let's get a normal map of the two paints. Click on one of the paints. Get an image texture. Make sure the shader is going into the output. Name the image normal 1 and click 32-bit color. Change it to cycles. Change the render samples to 1. Go to the bake tab. Then change the bake type to normal. Hit bake and wait it out. And do it to the other paint and call it normal too. You can save the image by clicking on the image, going into the UV workspace, and saving them there. Do that to the other one. Now let's compile the texture. Now make a new plane. Now make a new material. Get the base color image and plug it into base color. Drag in the height image and get a bump node. Put color into height, then normal into normal. That's just going to give height to the paint. Now let's make a normal map. Drag your mask image in, then your two normal images. Now I'm going to drag the normal map and the displacement map of the asphalt texture in there too. Get a mix RGB node, plug the mask in as the factor, put normal 1 to color 2. Now we're going to make a mask of the inside paint. Get a texture coordinate node, get a separate XYZ node and set it on X. Get a math node and set it to compare, bring up the epsilon and set the value to 0. Take a math node and set it to multiply, and then combine the mask and the compare. And there we go. Now duplicate the mix RGB and use the mask that we just made as the factor. Now plug the other mix RGB into color 1, and normal 2 into color 2. Now let's set up the asphalt normal map. Get a normal map node, then get a bump node. Put the normal slot of the normal map node into the normal slot of the bump node. Put the normal map into the color slot of the normal map node, then the displacement into the height slot of the bump node. And that's the asphalt normal. Plug the normal slot into the first color slot of the first mix RGB node, and there's the road normal. 
Plug the color slot of the mixed RGB node into the normal slot of the bump map. Now let's make a roughness map. Duplicate the mask image, get a mixed RGB node, plug the mask as the factor, make color 1 a bright white, and make color 2 a darker black. I'm making part of the images where it's going to be paint darker because I want the paint to be more reflective than the concrete. And roughness maps go on a system where the darker the color, the more reflective they are. Now let's bake all the images. Get a plane with an aspect ratio of 1 by 1. Put the road material on it. Put three image textures. Make one your base color. Go down to the bake tab and choose diffuse. Turn off direct and indirect contributions. Bake it. Save it in the UV space. Make one your normal map. Click the 32-bit check mark. Under bake options, choose normal and click bake. And save that in the UV workspace. Make one your roughness map. Change the bake type to roughness, bake it out, and then save it in the UV space. This is what it looks like in texture form. Hope this was interesting. Thanks for watching.